Over the prior few years, the Seattle Mariners have been graduating some of the top names in their farm system, with names such as Jared Kilnick, Cal Raleigh, Julio Rodriguez, Matt Brash, Logan Gilbert, and George Kirby. Julio Rodriguez won AL Rookie of the Year in 2022. Cal Raleigh in his sophomore year led all catchers with 27 home runs on the year. Logan Gilbert showed he could grow a mean goatee, as well as his potential to be a number two in the rotation. Oh, how about that one? Corkscrew Robert into the ground in slow motion. George Kirby showed off his incredibly high floor and his potential to be an ace with his plus stuff and plus command. To be this young, to have this kind of power, 97, four pitch touch. Well, this year won't be much different as the next top young name for the Mariners the will way. be here sooner oh, rather than later. This guy is right-handed starting pitching prospect, Bryce Miller. The sponsor for today's video is myself. I just got my logo redone and we have some merch with that on it. I'll put a link in the description below to my shop. We've got hats, t-shirts, you name it. So go check it out and I appreciate your support in advance. Also, I've noticed that over the past month, 86% of the total watch time have been from people not subscribed to the channel. So if you're in that category, please hit that subscribe button. And now back to the show. Bryce Miller was born and raised in Texas, where after high school, he would go on to play at Glenn College. Believe it or not, but he didn't start pitching in high school until his senior year. And in his one year at Glenn, he ended up being the team's closer, touching 96 miles an hour. He would then be drafted by the Marlins in the 38th round of the 2018 draft, but decide to go play at Texas A&M instead. Today, the Aggies signed Bryce Miller of Blinn College. He's a 6'2", 180-pound righty from New Braunfels. He chose the Aggies over, wait for it, Texas. Actually, I grew up kind of in, like a Texas guy and went to a lot of Texas games. And um, then whenever I got to Blinn, it kind of, and all through high school, I kind of transferred over and came and came to a few games and checked it out. And it's definitely, definitely the place to be. In Miller's first two years with a and he worked out of the bullpen, sometimes as the setup guy, other times as long relief. And he actually never threw a changeup until he got to College Station. He mainly features a four seam fastball and slider combo, but also has a curveball and now that changeup. In his senior year, he got the opportunity to start and he'd go 56 and two thirds innings with 70 strikeouts to 37 walks a 4.45 ERA, and an 11.1 .1 strikeouts per nine. Heading into the 2021 draft, he wasn't a highly touted prospect, as he still had some things to work on, such as his control, and some scouts were thinking he would be heading back to the bullpen in the majors. But keep in mind, this is only his fifth year as a pitcher. Bryce would be selected in the fourth round of the 2021 draft and finished the year in A-ball. In 2022, Bryce would prove that he belongs in the rotation, and at some point very soon, a major league rotation. Hey, fastball swung on and missed. This year, he started in A-ball and had his last 10 starts at AA, and overall on the year, pitching to around a 3.2 ERA, and 11 strikeouts per nine, and a whip just over one. Fastball waved at and missed. His fastball now sits in the mid 90s and touches triple digits. And his fastball alone produced an 18% whiff rate. Miller just came at him with some heat. And in his 2022 season, he held opponents to a 195 batting average against. Currently, about a month out from spring training, Bryce is ranked number 98 overall by MLB Pipeline. And the Mariners' former number two overall prospect, Emerson Hancock, is currently not ranked on the top 100 by MLB Pipeline. Bryce Miller has been getting quite the hype over the offseason, even with prospect insiders Joe Doyle ranking him as the Mariners' number one overall prospect and saying, quote, I'm not sure the general public realizes that Bryce Miller is presently, almost unanimously in baseball circles, a much better pitching prospect than Jack Leiter and Kumar Rocker, both of which were selected in the first round of the 2021 draft by the Texas Rangers. So it begs the question that with the Mariners currently at six starting pitchers in the rotation, including Marco Gonzalez and Chris Flexen, does Bryce Miller have an opportunity in spring training to get that fifth starting spot? Will Marco or Flexen be traded before the season starts? Or will Bryce debut later in the year? Here's some comments by Jerry DePoto about Bryce Miller. You know, the last couple of years, we've been anxiously waiting the arrival of Jared Kelnick and Julio Rodriguez and George Kirby, Gilbert a few years ago as well, uh, Brash. Who's next? Who's the next big young player that we should be excited about reaching the major leagues? 
you know, I, the, the guy coming into spring training that I think is going to light people up is Bryce Miller. Uh, and it, he had a terrific year at multiple levels of our minor league system last year. So we drafted him a couple of years ago out of Texas A&M. We thought going into his draft year, he would be, you know, a, a first round draft had a great start to his season and then faded a little bit. And, you know, as a result, we were fortunate enough to get him in the middle rounds. And he went out last year and dominated at multiple levels, was among the top 10 in minor league baseball and strikeouts. He throws, he'll regularly exceed 100 miles an hour with his fastball, has a dominant slider, is that kind of lean, wiry, strong, physical pitcher that, that catches your attention. Uh, when when you're in this kind of camp setting. And much like Matt Brash a year ago or George Kirby the year before that, I think this year Bryce is the guy that's going to catch a lot of attention in spring training because it's just physical stuff that shows up on day one. So it's not a matter of if, but when in 2022 we see Bryce Miller in Seattle. And the Mariners rotation is looking very strong headed into this season with some combination of Luis Castillo, George Kirby, Logan Gilbert, Robbie Ray, potentially Marco Gonzalez and Chris Flexen, and then Bryce Miller, Taylor Dollard, and Emerson Hancock ready to go. All right, guys, goodbyes only, don't forget it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll put a link on the right side of the screen to my player profile series, as well as another video on the left that you might be interested in.